For some speedrunners, jumping in an effort to go faster just seems natural. And depending on the game, it may actually be effective. So that brings us to the question, does jumping actually make you go faster in Superliminal? And the answer is, well, it depends. To really answer this question, we need to look at how movement is calculated and how jumping affects it. Now when we're moving on a flat surface, the player moves at a constant speed regardless of direction. For the sake of simplicity, we'll just assume that we're moving forward with a speed of V. If you're familiar with vectors, then you'll see that V is only in the forward direction without any vertical angle. We'll call this Vx. Now when we jump, that's when the vertical component is added to our speed V. However, the forward speed stays the same. In math terms, Vx remains constant, but V becomes the vector sum of Vx and this new Vy. Put simply, if the player is in the air, their horizontal speed is the same as if they were walking on the flat ground. This is our first major conclusion. Jumping on flat surfaces doesn't help us, nor does it harm us. However, how can we take advantage of this principle that we move in the air as if it were the flat ground? The answer is jumping on slopes. Let's take a look back at that movement vector. When we're moving on a slope, the V that used to be flat is now at the same angle as the slope and the horizontal component is less than if we were walking on a flat surface. This means that we're moving slightly slower in our forward direction. By jumping, we preserve our Vx while still being able to move up or down the slope. The steeper the slope, the more time that we save. Unfortunately, this doesn't always work. Particularly with cheese ramps and the black stairs in white space, sometimes jumping up slopes can cause you to slide and lose momentum. If this is an issue for you, avoid jumping on those slopes in particular. Another main aspect of jumping in superliminal is the ledge grab, which is also called mantling or vaulting. It's when the player doesn't fully clear jumping onto a ledge, but is within a certain margin where they will grab the ledge and climb up on it. This makes platforming more forgiving in the game, and it only depends on height. Looking up or wiggling the camera doesn't help activate ledge grabs. As useful as it is though, it's also a slight time loss. For a full ledge grab, there's a time loss of about a tenth of a second. Generally, this is pretty negligible. However, it's something to keep in mind when you're optimizing a level like cubism. One last thing to note about ledge grabs is that you must jump in order to trigger it. Simply falling towards a ledge will not activate a ledge grab, which is important to remember for the cheese skip at the end of a white space in case you're tempted to walk from the cube straight into the doorway. The final thing that I want to say about jumping has to do with what I call pit diving. When the player jumps before falling down a hole in an effort to hit the bottom faster. While a sort of gravitational acceleration exists in superliminal, the margin for error is very small. What I mean by this is that the player has to just barely miss landing on the drop off edge in order to save time. If the player goes too far, it's actually losing time. So if you want to try pit diving, Try to jump too early rather than too late, and as I discussed earlier, there's no negative effects from just jumping while on the flat area. I hope this was informative, and remember to check out the Superliminal Speedrun Discord if you have any more questions. Good luck with your runs, and I'll see you next time!